ibo ashara bombele yana sekita yana nananda rada da yana sekita yana shekita yanda ramene ya sontara baya dianda radia this is holy moment when god walks in on us every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. This is precious moment. When God walks in on us, every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. When the glory comes, I There'll be no words to say. Oh, in your presence we sing to you. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, this is holy moment. When our Father walks in on us, yeah, yeah, yeah. every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. Who's seated on the throne, Ayara Goshiada. This is precious moment when God walks in on us. Every gaze is on. The lion and the lamb. This is holy moment when God walks in on us. Every day is on the lion and the lamb. And when the glory comes, I know Shayada, there will be no words to say. Oh, when the glory comes, when it falls, there will be no words to say. Oh, standing before your throne. There are no words to say, but holy, holy, holy. Mm-hmm. Standing before your throne, there are no words to say, but holy, holy, holy. Mm-hmm. You are holy, Lord God Almighty. All the earth is full of your glory. Yes, God. You are holy, Lord God Almighty. And the earth is full of your glory standing before your throne mm, bowing before your throne i rather standing before your throne and there are no words to say that you're holy Oh, holy, holy, nobody's holy like you. Kneeling before your throne, all your children bowing before your throne. We say you are holy, holy, holy. You are holy. Lord God Almighty, all the earth is full of your glory, and you are holy, so true and ever so holy, oh, 
the air is full of your glory. And this is holy moment when God walks in on us. Every case is on the lion and the lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen and amen. Thank you so much, dear sister Maureen. Thank you so much, dear sisters and brothers who probably have gathered with us. We thank God so much for this evening. We thank him for what he's doing here in our midst. This is an altar that the Lord um, causes us to faithfully gather week after week. It's a time for healing and communion. And I believe that the Lord himself is coming to do what only he can do. This evening, I just want to encourage all of us to lift up our eyes and to look to Jesus. Just begin to focus, just begin to turn your attention on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to remember what he did for you and I at the cross of Calvary. I want you from the bottom of your heart to just say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Come and have your way with us. This is holy moment. God is here with us. And we just want to say that our eyes are fixed on him and him alone. Beloved in Christ tonight, there may be a reason why you are gathering here. Maybe there's an issue. Maybe there's something that you really want to pray about. There's a pressing thing on your heart. But tonight I just came here to tell you that let's fix our eyes upon Jesus. Let's fix our eyes upon Jesus. If I be lifted up, Oh, if Jesus be lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. The focus tonight is to lift up Jesus. The focus tonight is to lift up the king of glory. The focus tonight is to say that, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, come and have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, beloved in Christ, I want every attention to be turned to the lion and to the lamb. Every gaze this evening upon the lion and the lamb, for he is the one in our midst, and he is worthy to be praised and to be adored. He deserves it. Yes, sisters and brothers in the house, you want to lift up your attention. You want to look to Jesus. You want to turn your focus on, upon Jesus. You want your gaze to be on the lion and on the lamb. The Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The maker of all things and the judge of all men. You want to lift up your gaze. You want to focus your gaze on Jesus. And for the longest time we've been focusing on things. We've been focusing on things. Sometimes we are looking at what we lack. Sometimes we are looking at what is missing. Sometimes we are looking at what we wish we had. Sometimes we sit and we ponder over that which we, we, we feel like this. it ought to be this way, but it's not that way. And we begin to worry and stress. But tonight, the Lord sent me to tell you that all attention on Jesus. Oh, Yan de Makunda. All attention on Jesus. Rehan de Bakunde Every gaze, every gaze, every gaze, every gaze, every gaze, every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb tonight. Tonight we forbid anyone focusing on a disease. Man, We forbid Bid anyone lifting up any name, any name, any demonic name, any disease, any death, any kind of thing, any spirit of fear. We forbid that kind of atmosphere. We are exalting the name of the Lord. We are lifting up the name of Jesus. We are honoring him. We are appreciating him. We are adoring him. We are worshiping him. We are loving him. We are praying to him. Oh, yes, Lord, we thank you. We adore you. We are grateful. We are grateful, Father, for the fact that you love us we are grateful man who are we that you are so mindful of us and you are all god all by yourself but you still choose us you still choose to love us oh no wonder tonight this is holy moment this is holy moment and the lord has entered into this atmosphere 
and and every attention is on the lion and the lamb and the lord is having his way in and amongst us man i promise you you will not leave this place the same because the king of kings and the lord of lords himself and is having an encounter with you tonight in this place and shift your attention of the shackles and but tonight every shackle will break and shift your attention of the prison walls and the prison gates and the prison doors but tonight every prison wall will come down and every prison gate will break open in the name of Jesus heavenly father come and have your way with us come and have your way in our midst for your daughters and your sons have gathered to give you praise to give you glory and to honor you and to worship you and to say that you are God, you are worthy to be praised and to be adored. Yes, the King of Glory is coming in, and when He comes in, man, tabakanda shanda. I no more words, no more words. And deba kode shedi ya mahandeli ya makonda. Rekete ye makonde shedi ya baba badi ya makonda shanda. Yes, Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Your word says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And everything in this earth, it belongs to you. Everything, it belongs to you and was created by you. You said that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and those who dwell therein. Beloved in Christ, whom shall we be afraid of? Why will we be afraid? Our Father, the king, he owns it all. Rehan Debakonda. All of creation is bowing before him right now. All of creation is worshiping him. Man Debakodi Shindehe. Wouldn't you bow? Wouldn't you bow? Rehan Debakonda. I, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? Tonight, a question is being posed that which of us will ascend the hill of the Lord and who will stand in his holy place? This is holy moment. This is holy moment when God is walking in. He's walking into this place. Man, And because it's a holy moment, every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb. It is very disrespectful to be distracted at such a time as this. Every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb. Man, Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You answer the question and you say, he who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully? Tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus that everyone gathered here. Oh, yes, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name that every hand be clean. Every hand be clean by the precious blood of Jesus. Every pure, every heart be made pure by the precious blood of Jesus. Clean hands and pure hearts. Clean hands and pure hearts in the name of Jesus. Clean hands and pure hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. A new spirit. I will give to you a new heart I will put inside of you. I will take out your heart of flesh and put a new heart within you and a new spirit so that you will be able to obey all I command. We, 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 we align ourselves to your word. Do what only you can do in the name of Jesus. We desire clean hands and a pure heart in the name of Jesus. We don't want to lift up our soul to that which is false. The false God of self, the false God of the pleasures of this life, the false God of fear, the false god of materialism the false god of pride oh have mercy upon us have mercy upon us in the name of jesus that we will worship the one true god you and you alone fearing none only honoring you in the name of jesus having reverence for you and you alone the bible says that that person he will receive the blessing from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation and such is the generation of those who seek him. Those who seek the face of the, of, of the God of Jacob. Tonight, this is the generation of seekers. Tonight, the generation of seekers have gathered. Lord, a generation of seekers have gathered at your throne tonight seeking you. They have gathered at your altar tonight seeking you. Yes, Lord, we are seeking the face of the God of Jacob. We are seeking you. We desire you. Our hunger is for you. Our thirst is for you. 
you. It is because of you that we have guided you, you, not the giftings you give us. No, we like that too, but that's not why we are here. Not the things that you bless us with. We enjoy the blessings, but that's not why we are here this evening. We are seeking you. We are seeking the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are seeking the King of glory himself. Father, we thank you. Beloved in Christ, I want you to make verse 7, verse 7 to 10. Let that be your prayer. I'm reading from Psalm 24, 7 to 10. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Beloved in Christ, for a long time, there were some ancient gates that kept us, kept us indoors, locked us in. Sometimes we want to even have an encounter with God and just fellowship with him and you realize we become lazy. Sometimes we just want to even just, just spend time with our God and you know we, we just want to be with him and you realize that we are struggling in intimacy. Sometimes you realize that we are feeling exhausted or we are feeling bored, feeling bored because some ancient gates have locked us in. But tonight, I, tonight, this ancient gate will be lifted up because all of creation obey the king of kings. They hear the word of the Lord and they align. Beloved in Christ, this is not a suggestion from verse 7. It's not suggesting anything. No. It is a command. It is an instruction. It must be obeyed. Lift up your head to ye gates. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Lift up your head. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up. O ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. For how long will you sit at the pool of Bethesda? For how long will you sit there? 38 years, the same problem. For how long will you sit there, not maturing in the faith? For how long will this thing be an issue? Over and over again, is there an ancient gate? Tonight, I came here to say, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up. O ye ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Oh, the king of glory enters. The king of glory enters. Listen, no ancient door can stay shut when the king of glory is coming in. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. I don't know what the recurring issues are, but tonight we are focusing on Jesus. Uh, and as the ancient gates are being lifted up, uh, changes are taking place. You will not leave this place the same. I will not leave this place the same. Whatever it is that an ancient door, <laughs> whatever it is that an ancient door is responsible for, tonight there will be a shift. Man, tobacco, dashanta. Enough is enough of recurring problems. Uh, enough is enough of the thing that they said this thing is, is, is in the family, it's is, is in the line, it's not in any line. Tonight, ancient doors are being lifted up, and tonight the story is being turned around uh, for his glory because the king of glory has come in. Oh, Father, I thank you. Man, tabako, de sheria, baba. You may ask, you may ask, who is this king of glory? I don't know whether it is the gates that are speaking and asking, who is this king of glory? You don't know. You don't know. No wonder you are sitting there shut. If you knew, you would be lifted up right now. The Lord the strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight, every ancient door be lifted up. Every ancient door be lifted up. The ancient doors that have caused us to walk in sin and to walk in sickness and to walk in stress. Every ancient door that has caused us to stay in a place of disobedience and misalignment from the word of God. Every ancient door that has caused recurring problems tonight be lifted up. Tonight be lifted up as we are focusing on Jesus, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Let there be a shift in the realm of the spirit. Tonight, tumors are dissolving as the ancient doors are lifting up. Tonight, 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 recurring blood disorders. Tonight, there is a shift in the blood. All ancient doors, hear me, hear me now. Be lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus. 
all that have been on assignment on assignment to do evil on assignment to plague the sons and daughters of god tonight be lifted up that the king of glory will enter and the king of glory comes in and does what only he can do the king of glory comes in and says rise up and walk man tabakunda the king of glory comes and says lazarus come forth them that are dead begin to rise when the king of glory comes rehan tabakunda the king of glory comes and there is provision there is provision there is provision such that there is so much that is left over and nothing is wasted. The king of glory cometh. The king of glory is the one who sets the captive free. Even if the captive was a lawful, legal captive, he sets them free. The king of glory comes forth. All sicknesses begin to bow and depart. All demons begin to bow and depart. Principalities and powers and rulers of the dark world begin to bow and depart. Manta Bakunda, generational curses. Rakataya Makunda, be lifted off in the name of Jesus. Generational blessings come forth. Generational blessings come forth. Generational blessings come forth. And Makunda, Shatalia Makunda, Shedia Mama. Every knee bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Rehande Bakunda, we are in the presence of the King of Glory. Oh, I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Mante Bakundaha, forgive us for walking in doubt. Forgive us for walking in fear. Oh, did we not know? Did we not know that the King of glory is our Father? That we can call upon you? That every ancient door will not remain shut, cannot remain shut. Even the word of God says, any debt that is old, after seven years, the debtor, the one who, who, the one who is in debt should be set free. In the name of Jesus tonight, anybody for any reason who has been captivated by the enemy by the kingdom of darkness and locked in some way somehow by some ancient doors maybe you've been locked in in in, in the area of your emotions uncontrollable anger uncontrollable fear fear has tormented you the ancient door of fear has trapped you in the ancient door of depression has trapped you in there is an ancient door that does not want you to prosper in this life it doesn't even want you to enjoy the blessings of god but tonight in the name of Jesus, every ancient door be lifted up. Anybody that fa- has been trapped, any family member that has been trapped, as we are standing together in one accord, in one accord, in one accord by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, as the word of God goes forth, Rehan Damakonda Shanta. Not even one part of this word falls to the ground because the word of God does not return void. It accomplishes the purpose for which the Father sent it. Lift up your head, O ye gates. For the king of glory comes in. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. I thank you. I give you glory. I thank you. 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 Ancient doors that were giving breathing problems. And so for years you struggled with asthma. Tonight be set free in the name of Jesus. Tonight be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient doors that caused your, your bones to be stiffened. Such that every time aches and pains, you wake up in the morning, you struggle to walk. Tonight, oh tonight, tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit. Tonight. Ah. You are coming forth with a testimony. You are walking and leaping and praising God. You are saying the pain is gone. The Lord has done it. Hey, all attention on Jesus. All attention on Jesus. Don't sway. Keep your attention on Jesus. Rehan Debakonda Shanda. Keep your attention. Let me ask you a question. Why is it that the Lord has blessed you? Blessed you with a husband, with children, blessed you with a family, blessed you in your ministry, in your career. But for some reason, you you are struggling with joy. You don't have joy. You complain more than you praise. You you have cried more than you you you've even smiled in it. What, what is going on? Is there an ancient door? Man tabakonda shatalia makonda. Is there an ancient door that has trapped you that is trying to prevent you from walking in your joy, such that physically we cannot see you are blessed, but spiritually it's as if you alone cannot see it. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh lift up your head, oh ye gates, be ye lifted up, for the King of Glory is entering. Ah, the King of Glory is entering. Man tabakonda shatalia baba. He is entering. 
He's bringing joy. He's bringing love. He brings peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Shalom. He's bringing patience. Thank you, King of Glory. Tonight, let there be a certain free. Let there be a certain free. All eyes on Jesus. Everyone focusing on the finished work of the cross of Calvary. Every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb. Every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb. Let the king of glory have his way. Let the king of glory do what only he can do in this atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, Lord, we praise you. Rehan deba kode sheri ya baba badi ya makunda shanta ha. Rakata ya makunda sheri ya baba di ya makunda shanti he. Rehanda, rehanda, rehanda. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. I I thank you for the chains that are breaking. Rekete ye makunda, shekete ye makunda. Ancient gates, ancient gates, ancient gates. They have decided that so and so will become our gate watcher in this dark kingdom. They have decided. Targeted the person, pointed an arrow, said, This is the one who will guard our gates. Oh, no lie. That is a lie from the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, all ancient gates be lifted up. The king of glory cometh, and the king of glory has a purpose for each and every one of us, and we walk in alignment to him. And him alone, he's the one we worship. He's the one we adore. He's the one we praise. He is the one we serve. He is the one who saved us. He is the one who moved us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. He is our God. He is our king. He is the fourth man. <laughs> when, Daniel, when Daniel's three friends walked in fire. When we have walked in difficult moments, he is, he is the one who comes to walk with us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Sisters and brothers, I came to encourage you. You are not forsaken. You are not alone. You may be going through some tough times right now. You are not alone. Jesus was not alone in the wilderness. The spirit of God was with him. Oh, man, don't always judge things based on what you see. No, the Lord is with you. The Lord, he says, God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So the fact that your human eye cannot see does not mean that he's not by your side. He is with you. Ancient doors, ancient doors be lifted up. Ancient doors be lifted up, be lifted up. Ancient doors be lifted up. Oh, in this family, yeah, that's how it is. So in this family, there, yeah, but blood sugar is an issue. In, in this family, the yeah, uh, 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 cholesterol levels are high. In the, God forbid, all ancient doors that have labeled families as such. That first, that there is a number plate on the gate as a house number, this a high cholesterol levels. In the name of Jesus, we reject it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory, have your way. Oh, Father, I thank you. Beloved in Christ, we just want to pray with, some, with Isaiah 60. The Bible says that arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of God has risen upon you. Many are those who feel like, no, I'm feeling faint. I'm feeling miserable. I feel sad. Things are not working. Sweetheart, listen to the word of the Lord to you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Yebinyampo said the king of glory comes and be he's with us and said that he causes his glory to rise upon us and he's saying rise up in my glory rise up in me rise up in my light rise up in my power rise up in who I am beloved in Christ in the glory of God no sickness can stay in the glory of God no lie can stay in the glory of God no fear can stay in the glory of God all demons depart beloved in Christ you want to rise up from that place rise 
rise up from the place of darkness, of disappointment, dissolution, of death and misery. You want to rise up from that place. You say, no, but you don't understand, Pastor Adler, I don't feel it, sweetie. Tonight, we're not doing feelings. Every gaze is upon the lion and the lamb. You want to rise up, rise up. Begin to rise up in the power of God. Begin to rise up in the truth. Begin to rise up in the word of God. What you couldn't do before, you are doing now. Man, Deva Konda Shanta. Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. No wonder the word says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and give glory to your father in heaven. Beloved in Christ, there is something that you and I are supposed to do. There is a rise up and walk that is expected of us. Man, teba konde sheria mama. I know, I know they are saying to you, in this condition, you need to lie down. In this condition, you are too weak and something, something. But it is in your weakness that he is made strong. You got to rise up. You got to rise up. Man, Tebakonda, Shedi Ababa. Nobody is dying before their time. Rehan Dabakonda, rise up and begin to show that indeed your God is your light, that indeed God is with you. Man, Tebakonda, Shandaha, rise up and begin to work as the Lord has called you to. Begin to love one another, begin to show grace and mercy, begin to forgive. You don't realize that as we are walking these paths, uh, worship the Lord your God. And as you do, He takes sickness and diseases from you. As we are praying for one another, we ourselves are are being prayed for as we are blessing one another we ourselves are being blessed beloved in christ it's time for you to rise and shine for your light has come and all the time is now not tomorrow not tomorrow it is now rise up and shine the glory of the lord has risen upon you don't waste the glory moses says show me your glory show me show me show me Beloved in Christ, you, the word is saying to you, the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, has risen upon you. He wants you. He says, look, I have chosen you to reflect my nature. I have chosen you to reflect my light. I have chosen you to be like me. In you is the sign, the wonder, and the miracle that the world is looking for. It's all in you. Greater works than Jesus did. Oh, beloved in Christ, you want to just stand up in faith. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I say to you one more time, arise, shine. For your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. Verse 2 says, For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness covers the people. But the Lord will arise upon you. Even in dark times, the Lord rises upon us, and his glory will be seen upon you. Beloved in Christ, Moses wanted to see it. He's seen upon you. He says, The nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Sis, you're not going down. You got to keep rising. Nations will come to your light, sweetie. And kings will come to the brightness of your rising. As you are rising up, as you are going up to the peak, as you are rising in Jesus, you are rising, you are decreasing in flesh, in the things of this world, but you are rising in your love for God, in your appetite of him, and he's causing you to shine. He brings kings your way. The Bible says that a man's gift will make room for him and that he will bring him before kings. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Beloved in Christ, I came here to tell you that many are those that are seeking healing and they are going to come to you. Beloved in Christ, when they come, I don't want to hear you saying, hey, Namina, how is my marriage like that? I'm coming to pray for you. Hey, Namina, do you know how my, even my body has been paining that me? Can I pray? Sweetheart, you are going to stretch forth your hand. You are going to open up your mouth and you are going to speak as the spirit of the Lord gives you utterance. And as you speak, oh, thank you, Jesus. As you speak, many are those who will be strengthened because it's not you speaking, but the spirit of God speaking through you. As you minister, Rahanda, Rahanda, the seeds that you are sowing, oh, thank you, Jesus. Sweetheart, from today, you are going to walk in the boldness that the king of glory is giving you. He has granted you boldness really you are going to walk in this boldness and as you do it watch what the king of glory also does on your behalf 
I came here to encourage you. I came here to encourage you. The Lord is with you. Lift up your eyes. Look all around and see. They all gather together and they come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be carried on their hip. Then you will see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and exult because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you and the wealth of the nations shall come to you. Listen, your heart is not going to die. Your heart is not going to get a heart attack. Your heart is not going to slow down. No, your heart will be thrilled. Your heart will praise. Beloved in Christ, the Lord is giving us a message. The sons and daughters are coming. Sometimes I'll get a little girl and she'll come to me. She grade six, grade seven, grade... So, Pastor, I, 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 want to, I want to do what you do. I want to learn from you. I say, hey, eh. sometimes I'm surprised. Age, 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 nine, ten. Then, 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 they'll, they'll come and tell me that, that I want to, he said, I want to walk to every day. I, I want daddy to bring me to us. Then we learn together. Hey, eh. the sons and daughters will come. Beloved in Christ, they have already started coming. Don't let them go just like that. Bless them. Bless them. Pray over them. The king of glory is so pleased when he sees that, wow, you are letting the children come unto him even through you. Beloved in Christ, every attention shifted from yourself and from me is about the king of glory. It's about the lion of the tribe of Judah. It's about the lamb of God. It's about Jesus. All attention of ourselves, our pain, our discomfort, whatever, whatever. Every attention is on the one who created us. We came here to do his purpose. He is the one we focus on. Beloved in Christ, the king of glory is here. The king of glory is in our midst. The king of glory is doing a work amongst us. Every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. For this is holy moment. This is holy moment. This is holy moment. I remember the day that I was just spending time with my son. Everybody was asleep, just the two of us. And then he said, Mommy, I hear the Lord saying, we should take off our shoes for the place we are standing is holy ground. And I was even looking for my slippers to keep. We were even in the house. So it was a world to world house somewhere. My brother's house abroad somewhere. We were, I don't even remember wearing, whether we were wearing physical shoes. So I looked at my feet to kick off my shoes. I'm not even where he said, it, 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 the Lord was giving me a spiritual message. Take off your shoes. For the place you are standing is holy ground. When we encounter the king of glory, we are not going to be standing in the comfort of our shoes. You are not going to be standing in what you know, how you know, how you know how to do this. No, no, no. Even with Moses, he said, take off your shoes, take off your sandals. For the place you are standing is holy ground. Tonight I came here with an understanding that this is holy ground. Nobody's coming here to meet Pastor Adlai. Nobody's going to meet with them. No, no, no. I mean, nobody's going to meet another sister. No, we are coming to meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the King of Glory. He is the one who is having an encounter with us at this altar. He says, Take off your shoes. Take off your reliance. The shoes makes you reliance on it. And so you know that, oh, I'm wearing shoes so I can walk on thorny ground or whatever. Just take it off and depend 100% on me. That's what he's saying. Don't lean on what you know. Don't lean on, on your own understanding. Just take it off. Take off your shoes. For the place where you and I are standing is holy ground. This is holy moment. And every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our confidence is in you and in you alone. We are gazing upon your beauty. Thank you. Thank you. There was a song we used to sing when we were younger. It's a hymn. It goes something like this. The king of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the king of glory? How shall 
we call him. He is Emmanuel, the promised of ages. Beloved in Christ, this king of glory, many yearned to see and to know him. He's the promised of ages. But now he is with you and with me. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is with us. Don't be afraid. Don't ever doubt. Don't lose hope. Don't lose confidence in him. Don't look at the situation and make that your reality. No. The king of glory, he is your truth. He is your reality. Keep your focus on Jesus. Keep your gaze on him. The one who said, I will, I lay down my life. And after three days, I'll pick it up. And yes, he did exactly that for you and for me. Have confidence in him. Is it about your marriage? He is the one who heals you and helps you. Is it about your body? He is the one who heals you and helps you. All the gates to the body have been lifted up and the king of glory has come through. The king of glory now will ensure that what should not enter the gate will not enter. What should not go out will not go out. He will make sure of it. The king of glory, the gates to your soul be lifted up. The king of glory has entered and he will ensure that what should not enter through into your soul will not enter. What should not go out will not go out. But what about the gate of your spirit? The Bible says we have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, your spirit will not be contaminated. For you are sealed in him. Remain faithful in the word. Remain faithful with him. For you are sealed. The spirit of the Lord is on the inside of you. You are sealed. He will help you. Even as you grow and you mature. Even as you grow and you mature in the realm of your soul, you are becoming more and more like Jesus, thinking like him, aligning to him, having the fruit of the spirit and in your body like Jesus, having no ill health whatsoever, just like Jesus. The king of glory does this. Tonight, as you retire to bed, you are with the king of glory. The one who causes you, he causes you to fall into a deep sleep. And by the time you wake up, you have been helped. You are with the king of glory. Tonight, as you lie down to sleep, you are with the king of glory, the one who gives you a word in season. By the time you wake up, you say, wow, this is the word I received. You are with the king of glory. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we praise your holy name. I thank you for what is taking place here. Oh, I hear the Lord prompting me that there are some who have guarded and their desire is for their children to know him, to know him in their faith and to know him in, in their mind and to know him in their desire and to know him in their health, to know the King of Kings. Oh, I lift up my hands and I speak prophetically over everyone in this place that every member of your family will know the King of Glory. He will write his laws upon the tablets of their heart. He will write it. He will put it even in their minds and they will know him for themselves. Nobody will have to say, do you know Jesus? They will know Jesus themselves in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I decree this over everyone in this community, over everyone in this family, that you and your household, you will walk well before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I lift up my hand one more time and I say that anything that has been preventing your family from drawing closer to God, anything that has been, has been attempting to distract you and your household from walking in intimacy with God, tonight we put a stop to it in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. The King of glory is in. Lord Jesus, take your place. Lord Jesus, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus, in everybody's heart, in everybody's home, 
in, in, in the children that are connected to us one way or the other, in every ministry connected to us, in every career, workplace, whatever, connected to us. Father, you are the king of glory. Take control. Have your way. I thank you. I worship you. I adore you. Lord, I thank you that in this time, many are the miracles that have taken place. I thank you for what you have done here. I thank you for the deliverances that have taken place. I thank you for the souls that have been liberated to enter into freedom in Christ Jesus. Many are the hardened hearts that have been softened. Many are the hearts that have been totally replaced in this place. I thank you. As we fixed our eyes on Jesus, I know that, Father, you put your eyes also on us. You saw that which needed to be fixed and you fixed it. You saw where we needed help and you helped us. I thank you. You are the God who sees. You are the God who knows. Have your way. Be exalted. You are our king. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, at this time, I just want I just want you to take out your communion elements. Let's bless it and take it in. And then after that, we'll call our sister to share with us, please. So take your communion elements, please. Let's pray over it. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for what you have done here in our midst. I thank you that we gather every single time by faith. We believe. That's why we come here. We believe and so we speak. We are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that these communion elements be blessed and sanctified and Father be taken in by faith that we are taking in the body and the blood of Jesus according to the instruction that Jesus gave us at the Last Supper. Father, we thank you. We call them sanctified in Jesus' name. Beloved in Christ, please take in the body of Jesus, take in the bread. Please go ahead and take in the, the wine, the blood of Jesus, the new covenant. Father, we thank you. Father, we are grateful. We thank you for your life that is on the inside of us by way of the new covenant. You said that in him, in Jesus, was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. That's the glory. I thank you that Jesus dwelling on the inside of us causes us to walk in your light and in your life. That as we have taken in the body and the blood of Jesus, we have taken in even unto eternal life. I speak about everyone gathered here. In every area of our life, we shall manifest Jesus. We will resemble Jesus. I thank you. I speak divine health over each and every one of us. I speak your wisdom over each and every one of us. I speak that we walk in your light. No one of us stumbles in darkness. In the name of Jesus. For the light has come. The glory of God has come. And darkness does not comprehend it. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you so much. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for our children. Thank you for families. Thank you for everyone and everything connected to us. And thank you, Father, that you have made yourself known to each and every one of us in our household. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Sweet Sister Nelly, sweet Sister Nelly, please go ahead and unmute and share with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Adlai. Thank you. What a wonderful evening. Um, when we were praying, I had this word and I sort of played it in my mind and sort of left it there. And then as Pastor Adlai, as you were speaking, I just felt like I needed to write this down and share. But when we were praying, I felt God was saying that he has not called us to come to him for refills. And my mind went to, you know, when we go to the restaurant and then you have the drinks that you can have refills. So you have a refill and you can, it can either be two things where you've drunk it and you've got an empty glass, you're thirsty, so you go for a proper refill. Or you can actually just take sips of the glass and keep having refills because... 
it's there, it's something that you can have. So you go and you refill it. And God is saying that sometimes we do that when we come before him. He we he wants us to wait in his presence, to be in his presence. Um, that's that song, to be in your presence, um, not rushing away. Here I will stay. That was the song that came, that we need to be in his presence, not rushing away, waiting to be filled completely before we go away. Because what we do is we come for a quick fix and then we go and get on with our lives and it lasts us two days. It's almost like we're going, we're having a quick fix and we're going for two days and now it's run out, God, so I'm coming back and we're refilling, but we're not waiting for him to actually do what he wants to do with us. We're actually just going for refills. So that's the word that I got. And God wants us to stay in his presence, be in his presence and not rush away. Let him fill us and then we can actually go and do what he needs us to do. And so the challenges that we have in our lives, in our daily lives, we're sort of finding quick fixes and then we're mm. going back for more and then we present the next problem. And so nothing is actually being dealt with properly because we're just having a quick fix and rushing in and out of his presence. Thank mm. you, sisters. Amen. Amen. What a powerful word. What a powerful word. This is so, so deep. In fact, I don't know whether Sister Maureen or Sister Lena, if somebody can share with us, let's, let's just stay in the place of, you know, this song that says, I will stay at the altar, you know, to drink of your living water until I overflow. Sister Maureen or Sister Maud, anyone, anyone who can share, Sister Jackie, Jackie, who can minister this song. And let's just stay in that atmosphere. Wow, thank you so much, Sister Nelly. Thank you for your obedience. Thank you for sharing this word with us. It really speaks to us. It's a word in season. God richly bless you. So, um, any of our sisters who can minister that song to, you know, so that we can all just stay in that place. We stay to drink of the living water until we overflow. Any hand up? Anybody? Okay, yes. I see two sisters have unmuted. And any one of you can please take it up. Thank you. Wait on the Lord. Wait, wait. Thank you, Jesus. Pray with the Lord. Wait, wait. Thank you, Jesus. Wait on the Lord. Wait, wait. Stay with the Lord, wait, wait, build up your strength, oh, build up your strength, we we'll wait, wait on the Lord, wait, wait, stay, stay with the Lord, stay, stay, build up your Lord, I will stay on the altar, drink from the living water till I overflow. Now be satisfied. This is what the nations need. Oh, I will stay on the altar, drink from the living water till I overflow. And I'll be satisfied. This is what the nations need. Oh, Wait on the Lord, wait, wait, Lord, to be filled, stay with the Lord, stay, stay, I'm pleading, build up your strength, oh, 
build up your strength. Oh, wait on the Lord, wait, wait, drop them down, stay with the Lord, stay, stay. Oh, build up your strength. Oh, Lord, build up your faith. Oh, build up your strength. We need it every day. Build up your faith. We will wait. We are pledging, Lord. We will wait on the altar. We will drink from your living waters until we overflow and will be satisfied. This is what close our walk we need. Oh Lord, we will wait, we will yes, wait Lord. upon your altar, bearing us, Lord. Who we'll drink from your living waters until we overflow and we'll be satisfied. This is what we need from you. Oh, we are laying down all our burdens. We are laying down all our pride. We are burning on the altar. Oh, from me, we'll drink from your living waters until we overflow, until we overflow, Lord, until we overflow and we'll be satisfied. Holy and Arabosi, Ketede and Erebosi, Arabadi, Ki and Erebe, burn us, Lord, we on the altar. We want to drink from your living waters, Lord. We until we overflow and we'll be satisfied. This is what all oh, this is all that we need, Lord. We will wait on the altar. We will drink that living water. Until we overflow and we'll be satisfied. This is what the nations need. Brand, brand, brand us, Lord. We will run to the altar until we are burned through and do all the living things. Oh, we empty ourselves on the altar. We empty all our pride, Lord. We empty all our satisfied, Lord. We empty the self, Lord. We empty it, Lord. We will empty everything, Lord. The pride, the pride, Lord. We lay it out on the altar, Lord. We lay it out on the altar, Lord. For your living waters, Lord, let it overflow. Let it overflow. Lord, we are satisfied with your word, Lord. We want to be on the altar, Lord. We want to be filled with your living waters until we overflow and we'll be satisfied. This is what the nations need. Amen. <laughs> That is fine. This is more, Lord. This is all that we need, Lord. We want to overflow. Lord, the sickness we are hurt. We are laying them down on the altar. Nothing matters anymore. Nothing matters anymore. We, Lord, we are waiting. We are waiting on the altar. 
until we overflow. Burn, burn, Lord. Burn, burn, Lord. Set out on fire, Lord. Set us on fire, Lord. We are waiting, Lord. We do not want to leave your presence, Lord. There is peace in your presence. There is healing on the altar. There is balm that heals, Lord. There is balm that is healed us. Give us patience to wait, Lord. May we not fail. May we not faint on the way. Oh, we will wait. We will wait. We want to wait on the altar. Lord, we want to drink from the everlasting living waters until the overflows. Until we overflows. We will wait on you, Lord. We are waiting for you, Lord. We will wait on the altar. We will drink from the living waters till we overflow and we'll be satisfied. Lord, we'll be satisfied. We'll receive our healing on the altar our children will come to you on the altar we will wait they will follow waiting on you lord we are waiting on you on the altar i'll run on the altar i will wait on the altar i'll be burned on the altar we will be burned on the altar. The andaraba sikete de andaraba. The burning will not bring satisfaction. The burning will bring on comfort. The burning, the burning will burn us. We will wait, Lord. The burning will bring this comfort. The burning will break us. But we will be refined, Lord. But we will be refined, Lord. We will be refined on the altar. We will be like gold. We will be like gold. We will be like gold. Precious jewel will be refined, Lord. Precious jewels will be refined, Lord. Characters will be refined, Lord. We will wait on the altar. We will wait on the precious altar, the sacrifice on the altar, the burning on the altar, until we overflow, until we overflow, until we overflow, and we'll be satisfied. This is war, though that this is war, the nations. Need revive us, revive us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. We will wait. We are waiting. We are waiting. There is peace on the altar. There is peace on the altar. Lay them down on the altar. Wait on the altar. Oh, wait on the altar. Wait, 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 wait on the altar until we overflow. Don't move when you are not filled. Don't move when you are not filled. I am here to fill you up. I am here to make you know that I am here, my children. I am here. Just wait for me on the altar. Just wait on the altar. Wait on the altar. I am here, wait on the altar. Until you overflow. Until you are satisfied. Until you receive your healing. But don't wait. Don't wait. Don't go. Don't go. Wait on me. Don't go when you receive your healing. I am here to refill you. Lord. I am here.
Lord, we are here, Lord. We are waiting for you, Lord. Fill us up with your living waters. And we will overflow until the nations, Lord, until the nations. Until the nations hears your name, there is healing on the hill, there is healing on the altar, healing on the altar, until you overflow, until you overflow, this is what the nations need. Gloria ba ko fi ke ma ya ta di andara ba si ke te di o ho ki andere ba Help us faith Lord Ka bi andara bo si ke te re bo I ke bi andara ba si ka ta E ko mo si re ba si ke te re ara ba Da we are rushing da we are rushing da we do not wait we do not wait we rush and we go Wait, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We give you praise. We give you glory. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this, he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not been glorified. Beloved in Christ, in this current dispensation, Jesus has been glorified. The king of glory has come. The king of glory is here with us. The king of glory has spoken. Out of your belly, streams of living water will flow. So long as you wait and you drink of the living water. The word of the Lord has spoken. Father, we praise you and we thank you. We have heard your word to us. We say thank you. For you have manifested yourself in and through us. We are grateful. Father, you have made it clear that you desire that we will be patient and wait at the altar, that we will not seek quick fixes, but that we will allow you to work on us, to burn us and to cause us to be like gold refined in fire, to fill us to the point of overflow, such that streams of living water will come out of us. Father, we thank you. We don't take for granted at all what you have done here. I thank you for your vessels, Sister Nelly, Sister Belinda, the vessel, Sister Lena, Sister. I thank you for the vessels that you have ministered through, Sister Maureen, and all sisters here on this platform at this time, and brothers too. We thank you. We avail ourselves, Lord. We will wait. We will wait. We would wait. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. 
They would mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and they shall not faint. Thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, dear family, please let's go ahead and unmute and share the grace. We thank God for today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank 